ladies and gentlemen, there's an incident that happened in New Jersey. A woman was stopped by the state troopers and she yells out that she got CV and coughed all over them and said, now you have it too. (laughs) And you can best believe a lot of people are going to be doing this to the cops out there, you know. And, you know, I think one of the stories that I definitely need to do is show y'all how many police officers are coming up with CV. I'll do that on my other channel. So this came out in the Washington Post, March 18th, 2020. I have CV and now so do you. A woman allegedly told police as she breathed on them. According to the Hanover Township Police Department, Leah Piazza wouldn't stop breathing on the New Jersey officers as they were processing her paperwork. Ordinarily, that would be a mere annoyance. And that's just what it was until the woman told them she has CV. When the 28-year-old New Jersey woman crashed her car last week, she grew belligerent and refused to answer questions from officers who believe she might be intoxicated. Back at the police department's headquarters, she ignored requests to cover her mouth. Oh, by the way, Piazza allegedly said, after coughing on one officer, I have CV, and now so do you. The remark naturally alarmed the department, which contacted health officials and placed the three officers who dealt with Piazza under self-quarantine after the Thursday incident. But it was a false alarm, police said on Tuesday. While Piazza claimed that her boyfriend had contracted CV, and was hospitalized for treatment in New York. That was 100% false. Hanover Police Captain Dave White told NewJersey.com. The man in question said that he been on only one date with her, (laughs) damn, and that his hospital stay was for an unrelated tooth issue. Piazza who couldn't be located for comment, but reportedly called police on Friday and apologized for her outburst, was charged with DWI, careless driving, reckless driving, refusal to take a breath test, and false public alarm. But law enforcement officers across the country worry that at some point, it could be more than just a scare. And they are getting it, y'all. They are getting it. And I'm I'm going to show y'all that a little later. Indeed, as American life continues to shift in response to the pandemic, some police departments nationwide have adopted a more flexible approach to enforcing the law to protect themselves in the community. In Philadelphia, commanders were notified Tuesday that they will be delaying arrest for nonviolent crimes. Now, wait, it took a virus to get these people to do the right thing. Isn't that amazing? An internal memo from Philadelphia Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw emphasized social distancing among the officers and discretion in instances involving drug offenses, theft, and prostitution reported, the Philadelphia Inquirer. If an officer believes that releasing the offender would pose a threat to public safety, the officer will notify a supervisor who will review the totality of the circumstances and utilize discretion in the interest of public safety. 
in determining the appropriate course of action, Outlaw wrote in the memo. Wow. If only if we would see these examples of your officers being responsible out in public, I think the attitude towards them would be different, but we know otherwise. When, Especially when y'all run up on us and pile on one man, 10 men deep with officers, you're not looking out for no damn public safety. If you were, you wouldn't be doing that. Many departments have urged citizens to report crimes online or over the phone rather than in person. Oh, so if you want to file a complaint against a cop now, you can't go to the police station. You should do it on the phone where they have the authority to just hang up on you instead of taking the police report. Or they can now, you know, have the luxury of pretending that they're taking your police report report over the phone and they didn't write nothing down. Do you see how easy it would be for them to do those things and completely get away with it? Okay. The Portland Police Bureau in Oregon announced last week that it was reducing the number of calls that officers would physically respond to. Oh, you hear that you phone deputies out there? You may walk up on somebody and start screaming, you're going to call the police over a bunch of nothing and they won't show up. Just imagine what that will do to you now. Mm -mm -mm. Specifically for types of non-threatening crimes in hopes of preventing the spread of CV. We're talking about low-level stuff, Portland Police Bureau spokesman Kevin Allen told The Okay, so he told his local newspaper this, the big stuff, Uh, of course, we're going to respond. We're just going to be looking for an opportunity we can use the phone to do our job. Mm -mm -mm. They are scared. They want to use the phone to do their job instead of coming out here face to face with the public now. Similar calls for reduced in-person responses have come in recent days from authorities in Denver, Lansing, Michigan, and Syracuse, New York. While the enforcement of crimes that aren't in progress is not being prioritized as much during the health crisis. Police Chief Paul Pazin told the Denver Post, that the department would prioritize calls if staffing is severely impacted by CV. Other police departments, however, have continued to respond in person to all crimes. In San Jose, authorities have recommended social distancing, but acknowledge that staying six feet away from people recommended by federal health experts was often not feasible for making arrest. Our men and women cannot telecommute. They will rise to the adversity, Police Chief Eddie Garza said to the San Jose Mercury News. We can't avoid contact. We don't have that luxury. We can limit contact, but we can't eliminate it. We have to operate under realistic expectations. Reports of police officers testing positive for CV or on uh, or going into self-quarantine after coming in contact with someone exposed to the virus have become more frequent. So more and more cops are getting it. They are. You know, anytime you have any type of position where you have direct contact with the public, you can best believe those jobs are, you're high at risk of getting it. In the past week alone, officers in cities such as Los Angeles, Cleveland, Memphis, and Fort Lauderdale, Florida, have tested positive for CV or gone into self-quarantine because of exposure to CVs. So there you go. So this woman tried it and 
she ended up getting more charges on her because of it. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm not surprised this is happening to cops. It's definitely going to happen more often as time goes by. And, you know, I believe eventually these cops, many of them are going to rethink the jobs that they're in as this thing ramps up and gets worse. Because just understand, if it's getting worse for the public, it's getting worse for police departments too. And I believe this is going to drive many of them to eventually quit these jobs. You just wait and see, y'all. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.